150 gaming laptops fight it out in a battle royale and 5 remain standing. If you're looking for the best laptops that can play all games at good settings and FPS at a medium budget, then you're in the right place, my friend. All links can be found in the description below. And here are all of the analyzed laptops. And here are the top options. For each option, I will quickly show you what games you can expect to play, at what settings and FPS. So let's get started. But wait, I have a great tip for your piggy bank. It will save you a couple of hundred dollars. When you click on the links, you will find that all of these options can be upgraded, whether it's CPU, GPU or RAM. But I suggest you don't do that. Instead, look at all of the options first. You will find one of them has exactly the specifications you're looking for, and at a cheaper price. Coming up first is the cheapest option in the list, the Lenovo IdeaPad 3 Gaming Laptop, currently at around 670 with Windows 10 Home or around 740 with Windows 11. This laptop is extremely cheap for what it provides you, with an AMD Ryzen 5 5600 CPU and a GTX 1650 GPU, you are going to be able to have a great time. Here is a list of all the games, settings and FPS you will be able to play at. That's really impressive, especially since the monitor has a 120 refresh rate. Keep in mind that at the $700 price range, that's almost impossible to find, with 8 gigs of 3200 100mHz DDR4 RAM. It is going to be more than enough to play even the most demanding of games. But the only downfall for this option is going to be low storage capacity, which is at 256GB. You will not be able to download that many games at the same time on it. Naturally, it's a full HD laptop with a monitor size of 15.6 inches. Lenovo claims that the laptop has an 8 hour battery life, but sadly, if you are going to be gaming, you can expect much less than that, around 2 to 3 hours actually. It comes with a backlit keyboard, but its functions are limited. Here are the laptop ports. The cooling system of the Lenovo is pretty good, and let's go to the next option. Number 2, the Acer Nitro 5 Gaming Laptop, using a 10th generation Intel i5-10300H, which can go up to 4.5 GHz core, and a GTX 1650Ti, it has a screen size of 15.6 inches, and is a full HD screen. This option is going to be around 5-7% to better than the last option. That's because the GPU runs faster, but also because this laptop has a 144Hz monitor refresh rate, 24Hz faster than the last option. This laptop option plays games at the following settings. The benefit of having the Acer Nitro 5 is the really powerful red backlit features. Once again, 8GB of RAM, but this time with 2933mHz DDR4 RAM makes it a little bit less effective, but not anything noticeable at this price level. Once again, battery life is supposed to live long up to 9 hours, but in reality, you can expect it to run empty much faster than that. Here are the ports. Option 3 is really similar to option 2, because it is also an Acer Nitro 5 AN515 option, but the difference mainly comes in the GPU. With this option, it comes with an RTX 3050, which is around 25% faster than the GTX 1650 Ti, making this option even better than the last one. Yet, the price increase is quite insignificant, so overall, this option is more favorable than the last one. All other specs are pretty much the same. With this gaming laptop, you will be able to play at these settings. Option 4 is for all those MSI fans out there. MSI is a really impressive laptop manufacturer, coming up with the MSI GF65 with an i5-10500H CPU and an RTX 3050. This option is the second best in the list. In terms of price to quality, this option is slightly better than the last one. So if you like MSI and their design, then this could be the reason you would go for this option. It will play the following games, and still has a 144 refresh rate, once again, 15.6 inch screen, and 8 gigabytes of 3200 millihertz RAM. And keep in mind, this option finally has a 512 gigabyte storage SSD, which is a lot more reasonable if you're planning on downloading a lot of games. The MSI laptop actually also has a red backlit keyboard, and is expected to have a better battery life than the Acer laptops. 
But if you need even better stats, then go for the last option. And by the way, if you have any questions or have a laptop and want to know if it's good, feel free to ask in the comments below. The HP Pavilion 16.1 inch gaming laptop. Not only does this laptop have a larger screen size while maintaining the 144 refresh rate, but it also has a GTX 1660 Ti graphics card and an Intel i5 10300H CPU. Just so you know, once again, GTX 1660 Ti is better than the 1650 Ti by 55% and better than the RTX 3050 by 25%. So, with this big quality jump, you are going to be able to play games at the following settings. The HP Pavilion plays at full HD as well, and has an 80% screen to body ratio. Comes with 8 gigs of RAM, 512 gigs of SSD storage, and Windows 10 Home. If you are looking for a laptop that is a little different looking, or a laptop that better matches your gaming station, the green backlit lights will help you out there. Here are the laptop ports. And here is a quick comparison of all the laptop options. On the right, you will see how much better each option is than the first option. And on the left, you will see how much more expensive each option is compared to the first one. Hopefully, this will help you choose the best priced gaming laptop you can ever find at $600 to $900. But if you're looking for even higher quality, more frames and more refresh rate, then you can check the next video out here for gold tier gaming laptops. But if this budget is too high, you can also go for the bronze tier gaming laptops here for cheaper options that will still be able to play most games but at lower settings. Have a nice day.